Bookworms. Have you ever read a book where you were complexed on how the story would finish right up until the very end? And when the ending comes, you're like, damn, that's so more genius. I've just read a book that made me do that. Let's discuss it. Bookworms, welcome to the Weekend Readers Book Club. Thank you for joining us. In this episode, we are discussing the 2019 released Goodreads Choice Award winner for Best Mystery and Thriller from 2019 and also a nominee for Best Debut Novel in 2019. The novel is entitled The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. In The Silent Patient, the story revolves around two people, Alicia and Theo. Alicia is a wife and a painter who has been accused of shooting her husband to death in the face. However, for some reason, she has taken a vow of silence, which means she doesn't speak to anybody, no matter what, from when the police first come and detain her, all the way up until you know, we join the main story, which is six years after the trial. Theo, on the other hand, he speaks, he is a psychologist and he believes he is the one, the one person that can help rebuild Alicia back into a talkative, responsive person. And the story is basically Theo and Alicia's journey, Alicia's journey pre-killing her husband, Theo's journey after meeting Alicia as a patient and trying to get her to talk and you just following the story to determine whether or not will Alicia ever talk again and if she does talk what does she have to say? That there is the gist of the story, The Silent Patient. Now I've read the book, I've just completed it and here are my thoughts with The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. Okay, so The Silent Patient is one of these books where the less I say the better. The blurb I just gave is somewhat what's in the front cover, so I haven't really given anything away in relation to the story. I'm going to say this. I thoroughly enjoyed this book. The story is somewhat something I haven't came across before in relation to trying to determine if somebody's not speaking for personal choice or or for like, um, I'm going to say mental reasons, but in relation to maybe shock or, you know, some sort of mechanism to feel safe about herself. The dynamics in relation to exploring that was awesome. The patient and psychiatrist interactions and storyline, great. Alicia's storyline pre-murder, great. And also after murder as well. The book itself was great. The ending, holy crap, the ending was like amazing. I, I'm going to say great, but no, I'm going to say the ending is amazing. It's one of the best endings I believe that I have read for some time for a story and what you, in relation to Jenny, you go on in the book. Now, with that being said, there's one sticking point I disliked about the book. This isn't in any way to discredit or take away from the story that Alex Michaelides created in The Silent Patient. It is this. For four-fifths of the book, the pace was constant. It was good. You were sort of trucking along. For the majority of books, so that's the majority of book was going at one pace. Then the last fifth of the book felt like we just went from zero to a hundred and I wanted it to be explored a bit further. Now I won't go into details in relation to what I want explored a bit further. 
But I would say, if you are going to read The Silent Patient, for me, I found four-fifths of the book, steady pace, last bit, bam, went to 100. Now, that may be done on purpose in relation to building suspense, drama, you know, just, just like we're getting to the finale, we've got that build up, we're going to, you know, crescendo out like, yeah, I get it. I just wish it was just a bit more drawn out because then at least that way you are able to flush out the storyline further in relation to the ending. But again, I said the ending was awesome. I just wish it was spread out more. And I am surprised that this has not been picked up to turn into a movie because this book was very, very great. With that being said, Will this book be going on to my bookshelf? Well, the answer to that is no, because it's a library book. <laughs> so it won't be going on to my bookshelf. I have to return it so somebody else can read it. But the question then is, am I going to go out and purchase this book to have on my bookshelf? The answer is no. And it's not for any disappointment with the story or the pacing. It's just the story is so captivating that, okay, I've read it once, I get it, and I'm unsure whether a reread in a few years' time is going to bring me the same amount of joy and intrigue and just, you know, like enjoyment that I've got by reading it the first time with not knowing the story and finding out as we go along. So for that reason alone... No, it won't come on my bookshelf, so I won't be going out to buy it. However, I would highly recommend The Silent Patient to somebody that is wanting a good crime thriller drama story because The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides is an absolutely fantastic read. With that being said, as always, as a customs here on the Weekend Readers Book Club, as one book closes, another book has to open. And it is now time to find out what the Weekend Read is, the next read is. And Bookworms, we can confirm the next read is Dark Mode by Ashley Culligan Blunt. Now, this book came up on my radar from the library again. And it is via an Australian author. So I thought, why not give it a read? It's another crime book. I seem to be going down the crime genre at the present time. I do not know why. Um, but yes, Dark Mode by Ashley Culligan Blunt. You are the next read for the Weekend Readers Book Club. So bookworms, that there was our discussion and review of The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides, a book that I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed and I would highly recommend if you're after a good crime book, give this book a whirl because it's amazing. And if you do, once you finish, I want to talk the ending with you because holy crap, it's great. So bookworms, as always, you can feel free to follow us. We have a Goodreads account and Instagram. You can find us at weekend readers book club alternatively you can find our podcast available on youtube and wherever you get your podcasts from via the username the weekend readers and until next time thank you again for joining us and bookworms happy reading